Hello, David? Yeah, it's me. You know I've been trying to contact you. Did you tell her yet? Look, you have no right to keep following me. It's over. Listen, it's never over, David. Yeah, you need to come clean and tell her before you just move on with your life. You know, we all have skeletons in our closet, but it's interesting how you just want to move on from this without accepting full responsibility for your actions. I know that you're a saved man and you found Jesus and all, but if you're a man of integrity like you say you are, you will come clean and do the right thing. Look, Diana, please don't do this to me now. Me and my family are moving on with our lives. I. Yeah, but you just can't run and pretend like you don't have responsibilities. Look, I have a new life. A new life? Well, we all do, honey. But just by moving you and your precious little family on with your life doesn't change the fact of what happened. I know that you're a minister and you think that you've changed and things are different now, but that doesn't change the fact that you're a... I'm a man of God. That's who I am. I cannot believe it has hung up on me. Who are you talking to? Lynn, it's no. You've been talking to nobody. For the past six months, you've been having secret phone calls. I told you over and over again. I'm getting really sick of this. You quit calling. You quit bothering me. You quit messing around with my family. <laughs> it's no one, I told you. Lynn, it's nobody. Are you having an affair? What? Because if you are... What? Are you having an affair? No, I am not. Lynn, it's, it's complicated. Please, let's just finish packing. Father God, please, please help me. Please help us. <laughs> I'm hurting right now. I don't know, I don't know if David's having an affair. I, I pray that he's not, but if he is, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what it is. I'll forgive him. I promise. Just please help us now. Please help me.
In the name of Jesus. using you. Something's wrong. We're, mu <laughs> We're moving in a few weeks and something's going on. You need to tell me. I need to know. It's deeper than you think. What is? Nothing. Tell me. You know I don't answer blocked calls. Hello? Let me speak to David, please. Who is this? Ma'am, I need to speak with your husband, please. Are you having an affair with my husband? This doesn't concern you. Are you the one that David's been having secret phone calls with the last six months? Look, I don't know. No, don't you understand? I just... You're quite the detective, aren't you? <laughs> Speaking of detectives, where's your husband? Let me talk to him, now. Detective? <sighs> Diana, why did you do that? Diana, is that her name? Look, I mean, Lynn, I'm sorry, you won't understand. Well, obviously, you're keeping secrets from me. I need you to trust me. How can I? You're not telling me everything. Can we go somewhere where we can talk? Let's go. Okay, spill it. You know how you think you know someone, and you don't, but you do? What are you talking about? Diane is someone from my past. I knew it. Just wait, wait, Lynn, just listen. I knew it! Wait, just, Lynn, just listen. It's not what you think. Please. I, well, I'm just saying. Look. Diana and I are not having an affair. I would never cheat on you. I've never cheated on you. I love you. Do you understand that? Come on. I haven't been totally honest with you about my life. Okay. Diana is an agent for the government. <laughs> an agent for the government? Yes. What does that have to do with you? I used to work for the government. I was an agent. I, I've been one 
for about 10 years. Well, for one thing, it's one of the reasons why we're moving. Lynn, I've, I've worked for the government for about 10 years. And do, do you remember when I tried out for the police squad? Oh, God. Well, during the testing, I was approached with an opportunity, and so I, I took it. And I spent 10 years working for the government as, a, as an agent. You killed people? Lynn, I've worked as an undercover agent for the government for about 10 years. Okay, do, do you remember when I tried out for the police squad and I was doing that whole thing? Well, while I was going through that process, I, I was approached by someone. And I was, I was asked to work as a detective and as an agent for the government. And through the whole thing, I've had to do some things. Some things that maybe I wouldn't normally do. Some things that I've had to wrestle with with my conscience, but... I was working for the government, and it, sometimes I had to kill people. I was an agent for the government. Until when? About a year ago. <laughs> Lynn. Lynn. Please, don't go. You wanted to know. You wanted to find out what was going on. I am telling you. Okay. I need you to listen to me. Okay. Okay. About four years ago, one of our agents, he, he defected. He turned back. And I was sent on a sting to follow him, to try and bring him in. Well, I, I was spotted. And? Well, a, a, a scuffle broke out. We hit each other. I broke his jaw. I grabbed his hand, snapped it. He went for his gun, and, well, I got to it first. And I killed him. You killed him? When, when I realized what had happened, the only, the only person I told was Diana. So the government doesn't know? No, I, I couldn't tell them. Why not? I was supposed to bring him in alive, not dead. We, we didn't even know if for sure whether or not he had defected. I mean, I knew, but the government, as far as they knew, they, that's why they wanted to bring him in. They wanted to talk to him. And things got out of hand. And As far as they know, he's missing. They think he's on the run. They, they assume that he's probably guilty and has taken off, and they don't know exactly what happened that night. Just Diana and I, and now you know. Is that why we're moving? To hide from them? Yes. That's why we're moving. What are you gonna do, David? You lied to me, to this family, to God. How could you, you keep this secret? I'm sorry. We needed the money. God is supposed to be our source. You're just ordained as a minister. I'm sorry, Lynn. Well, if you killed him, where's the body? I... I buried it. Where? Lord, help us. Not too far from here. You've got to go to the authorities. You have to tell someone. I mean, this isn't completely your fault. So, Diana, what does she want from you? Well, she, she wants me to tie up loose ends. She wants me to go in and confess and tell them what happened and explain to you what's been going on and explain to the government. Where is he buried? I'll show you.
Kids, mom and I will be right back. Why did you bury him so close to where we live? You never forget what it's like to kill a man. I wanted to always remind myself how close I let sin get to our home. Do you forgive me?